know about one here. We're at the pub and my mate, my mate finally came <laughs> top four. Well, he's been topping four for weeks. It's just I haven't had time to get his goddamn deck profile. And we're finally getting it. His Grand Marge deck profile. So, Mitch, you want to tell everybody what your deck profile is? Alright, so basically, is. playing Grand Marge is just, it's just guaranteed top four because people can't hack the Kaijus. And uh, yeah, that's a bit really just OTK or build the board. Uh, let's get into the deck profile. First of all, we have three Grand Marju. Obviously, the deck's built around it, so you need three of it. It's your beater, it's your. And this current build, your only normal summon. Uh, yeah, uh, running two Eater of Millions because three's too cloggy, and you don't really need to run Eater anymore. I just have some spicy extra deck targets for it. Also, the banishing does help now and again. But you can cut this to. I've seen builds to one. I've seen builds to three. This is just how how you how you feel. If you're gonna change this to the castle build, obviously you run three. But mine's more of the. Um, Level 8 turbo build of Grand Marju, so I'd run you one too. Three Orochi. Orochi is probably your best level 8 in the deck. It's guaranteed free summon and vanishes cards, which is the two things this deck does the best. So yeah, free Orochi wouldn't run any less. Uh, going to the danger engine, I I run just free Bigfoot, free Thunderbird. It's because they're the level weights, so you can go into XYZs faster, and they're the ones that actually have the good effects, which was to pop a face up or pop a set. Uh, don't run the level eight octopus because you don't actually need it. You have enough free level eights in the deck, and it just has a bad effect. Ogre Pogo is an octopus, by the way. It's not an octopus. Yeah, the Ogre Pogo, I don't care, bro. He's trash. He's, he's trash. Uh, the only hand up we run is Dimension Shifter. Shuts down most decks. Pretty much when I drop this, the opponent either doesn't care about it or just can't play their turn. Turns Barrett. <laughs> with a hand check that powerful, it's so good. Also, it banishes cards with playing Grand Marge, you know how it is. Did it against me too. <laughs> uh, going to some of the free level 8 that I play just for more targets, we've got Alpha. Alpha is just a broken card. Special summon it, like, say if you activate your kaiju slumber, you give them the higher attack kaiju, and then you summon your alpha and you get your kaiju back, and you summon the free kaiju. It's just, it's just too good not to run. I, I've seen people run this at two, and I don't understand why, because the card's busted, and you want to see at least one. You can special summon as many as a, in a turn, so I don't understand why you only run two. Uh, go into the ka kaiju package, run two gamma, two of the moth, uh, if it's a format where barrier statue is popular, you put this to three. If it's not, you just run this as two. It's just just for more names for Kaiju Slumber. And three Doggeran. Uh, then obviously you've got your three Kaiju Slumbers because it's a board wipe, a free level eight, and you can just mess around with stuff. Go into your draw power if you don't draw power, which also with the draw power of the dangers is three part desires. Banishes cards, equals Grand Marjorie more attack, and allows you to draw two. Uh, trade in, you can send the dangers off them to trigger their effects, or you can send your spare Kaigus for just free draws. Super Poly, because that's probably about the majority of my extra deck, because you don't really need one. The only thing you need is just like rank 8 you like to play, and Super Poly is just, you know, can't respond to it, getting rid of cards, special level 8, it's just as good. Uh, broken one off because they're broken is Harpy's Feather Duster because screw your back row like when I attack the game and ooh, instant fusion because this is a new part of your deck isn't it yeah I'm running instant fusion because I run windows a super poly target either way but if I if I'm going first and I have a way to make Dingir suit I will instant fusion and use its Dingir's effect to protect the window from this destruction so you actually just get to sit on a window also I'm currently testing not playing Zeus with Pain Gainer, so I have something in the uh, in the extra deck that's a bit spicy I can use for it as well. Talking about the extra deck, my only link monster is Relinquish uh, Anoa, because when you kaiju people, you can put it underneath the the extra deck monster space, and then just take your kaiju as material. Or for my instant fusion target. Thousand Eyes for shit. Uh, people don't really see it coming. You can Thousand Eyes steal a card, 
uh, overlaying to relinquish, still another card. And yeah, it's actually a good card to uh, uh, to stall on if you can get it in with the Dingus. If you can just stall on this card and people don't really normally have it out. But if you don't want to run this card, I say take out this and maybe the window and put a Pain Gainer and Zeus in if you just want to go for the Zeus. Uh, XYZs, we have the, the Team 7, as I like to call them. Uh, it's pretty much summon this guy. This guy can get out either one of them with the opposite one as material. This normally goes to 9k and just attacks the game. This uh, is a spell negate. Also, if they pop it, you can make this guy be a permanent non targetable 6k, which is some problems in some decks. So, which one's Sakura? <laughs> uh, nah, this is good team 7. Ding <laughs> uh, Non targetable removal, the tech stuff. Also, what I've recently been doing, which I haven't been doing for a long time, is using its effect to get my ban my own banished um Gizmekarochi as material because it's machine, which is a nice little thing. Uh probably the most optional card to play. I just play it because at my locals, a lot of people's decks special from the grave and it's a good stool card because it can't be destroyed by card effects and it gains attack from monsters in the grave I, if it's, it's pretty much if you don't draw the instant fusion turn one and you're forced to go first you, you just play this card just for just to be safe uh super poly targets this is the spice time this is where you run whatever super poly targets you feel like you like but these are the staple if you don't change these ones these are just a staple super poly targets that everyone runs uh, the other targets depend on the format and um, obviously your own locals if it's meta or not but for me these are ones I always get out as I'm going into Super Poly mainly the other ones are just for certain decks but yeah these are level 8s as well so you can um, XYZ with these and when you summon this if you haven't summoned Grand Marju yet and you're going to make sure you're cool fire so they can't imperm your Grand Marju because it's come up before um, Hello. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just against the meta right now and some stuff, we got the Eldritch card, which the Eldritch player can't out their self. Uh, you use their Doom King and their Eldritch, make this guy. He's a 38, he can steal monsters. His other effects are good as well, he's just a really good card. Uh, Winder, super poly target against Shad uh, a Shadow deck or a Vogue player, something like that. Also, instant fusion target, but like I said, if you don't want to run the, the instant fusion, you take out this and the, the Thousand Eyes, and put in Pain Gainer and Zeus, so you can uh, attack with Dingus, so you can go Pain Gainer and Zeus, but I just prefer this for now, for stalling. Uh, this guy, I don't know if I'm going to cut or not, he has good targets, but the targets never really come up. He's kind, of, he's kind of for like a Dragoons and something, but there's other targets for that anyway, so I don't know if I'm going to cut this guy. Also, he does lose attack for Banish cards, so I don't know what I'm doing with him. There's just not another good fusion right now to put in his place. So he's just kind of here to be here, just in case it comes up. And he has a nice 3k body anyway, so it's fine. Uh, this is one side burst plus well as one link. It's uh, uh, Salamangrates. There's like three at my locals, so just like play this card. Also, you've got the Agnistas, which this is good against. And sometimes they're just playing a cyber deck, you can get out your own link and go into it. And then the last card I play is this guy. For any generic warrior decks that think I don't have a super poly target, I just slap this on the board. It can attack twice, so it has a good attack. Also, it can negate a target that targets it himself. So it's just a good generic card, good against like heroes or just any weird warrior deck that someone's putting on against you, you just whack this out against them and they don't expect it. Uh, side deck wise, side deck's actually very important Grand Marju because you're a, a big heavy going second deck so you actually want to side, some of my side is just for going first. You kind of have to do the prediction if your opponent's wise enough I would say, don't want to be rude, if they're wise enough for to make you go first instead of going first in their combo decks, you, you have to kind of predict that and st depending on what you side. So for going first, I side a back row heavy. It's three summon limits. Uh, you only need to summon twice. You can you can stall on big beaters and it stops most combo decks. 
and three tickaboos. You're all different stuff in that main move, so it doesn't affect you and it shuts down a lot of archetypes. So they're your going first cards. Uh, for back row decks right now, I'm running Denko. You can take these out for lightning storms if you just want to remove the back row, but I like Denko because one, it's another, it's another normal summon in your deck that you're going to use anyway. And yeah, it's just the attack comes up nice, the light attribute comes up. Uh, Thunder doesn't really, but I, I don't know, maybe Colossus might come back and it'll come up again. We'll see. Uh, Mystic Mine, because if they don't run that out, that's their fault, not mine. <laughs> uh, it's just for if I'm having an A's matchup, I don't know what to do. It's game three. I'll go second, I'll have this in my hand, I'll drop it to either bait and negate normally, and then I can do my um, Kaiju Slumber, or I will literally just sell Mystic Mine until I have OTK in my hand, set a Mystic Mine to destroy my own Mystic Mine and then just pop off. And then back row removal, I like Twin Twisters for the discard with the danger, because if you Twin Twisters and discard, you can pop free pretty much, but it's up to you, you can run Cosmic Cyclone over it, or you can run Lightning Swarm, that's up to you. I'd say the only thing that you you can change in the in the side deck if you put these to lightning storms is these. These could be royal decrees if you have back row heavy like control decks at your locals and these can be or you can take out the D fishes and main deck Luna. Luna's good with a heavy kaiju engine, but I find sometimes Luna's just a dead draw. But yeah, that's it really. I can top four right. Uh, since the end of lockdown, I've I've come top four every time I play this deck. It just it kills kills most metas. Some metas that's as strong as against, and it kills pretty much every rogue deck because they can't out her. That's about it. All right. Uh, thank you for the deck profile, Mitchell. Uh, honestly, you you know your deck in it now. I'm not gonna lie. You very deep explanation but um, thank you everyone for watching if you've got any questions I'm sort of sure he'll take a look at the comments at some point I will check and yeah um, thank you so much for watching everyone Rob uh, Got uh, One uh, signing uh, out Mitchell I'm assuming you're signing out we're signing out um, we're locking off language. yeah uh, <laughs> Grand Marju punch for game GG well played punch for game